Hi there, this is Max with AppReady.io. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to connect to an RSS feed, uh, which you can then show in your mobile app. So now the recommended approach that we recommend now is to first connect to the script from server code. And then uh, from your mobile app, you'll be invoking the server code script. So that's sort of the recommended approach uh, now. So to start, let's create a new script and we'll call We'll click Create Script. Let's call this RSS script. Now, whenever you create a new script, you get a sample script here that you can quickly test. This is just uh, to get you started really fast. But let's delete this. Now, um, to access an RSS feed is basically uh, a REST call. And we have a, uh, a snippet here to do a REST call REST API get. And we can just click Insert. Okay, very simple. So next we need to specify the URL. So as, as an example for this video, I'm going to Live Hacker. Right? Um, and then if I scroll all the way down, right here's the RSS and I'm going to right click, select, copy a link, and then back to server code. And I'm going to insert the URL. Now it adds some information here, um, but which we don't need. All right, so just like this. Now, you can see the snippet has some parameters because in most cases, when you invoke a REST API, uh, it will probably have some parameters, but um, the RSS feed doesn't, so we can just basically remove this. All right. All right, and that's actually it. Um, we can now save and switch to run and click Save and Run. And you can see instantly uh, we get the result from the RSS feed. Now, one thing just to keep in mind, this is XML. This is not JSON. Uh, this is just the nature of uh, RSS feeds. So when you add the service, right, when you import the RSS script uh, into the app builder, just make sure to select XML uh, as the type for the service. But other than that, you can see how fast and simple it is. Uh, to, to get uh, to connect to an RSS and of course you can add more logic here for example you can you know, maybe access the database if you need to um, and also you know if for some reason the URL changes because this is uh, we're invoking this from the server you can really quickly change the script change the logic without impacting the client so that's one of the reasons we recommend connecting from the server code Right. Another reason that if this URL had any uh, API keys, uh, those API keys would be secure on the server and never exposed on the client. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and definitely give us a try.